It's now time to make a plan on how to tune your engine. We're going to concentrate on showing you how to do it in speed density mode, since tuning an Alpha N is usually best done by experienced tuners. Step one, set your base VE, base spark, and target air fuel ratio tables to the recommended settings shown in the following example tables. Step two, we're going to tune in open loop. You can do it in closed loop as well, but we feel this is the best way. Let's go ahead and start the engine. Adjust the VE table to make sure it idles from about 13 to one to a 15 to one air fuel ratio to safely warm up the engine. Let the engine warm up to operating temperature before we go any further. Step three, start by tuning the VE table to match the target air fuel ratio to the actual air fuel ratio. For example, if the target air fuel ratio is 13 to 1 and the actual air fuel ratio is 10 to 1, then you must lower the VE number until the target air fuel ratio matches the actual air fuel ratio. You'll need to do this to the entire table before moving to the next step. Step 4. Next, we'll move to the base spark table. We can now adjust timing to maximize your performance and efficiency. Step 5. Now move to the target air fuel ratio table and modify this table to maximize drivability and engine performance. Remember, the higher the numbers in this table, the leaner the engine runs, and the lower the numbers, the richer the engine runs. Step six. Now that you've gone through each table, you may need to revisit the tables and make small adjustments to accomplish your objectives, performance, economy, and drivability. Step seven. Now let's work on the idle. Your idle air control or IAC movement and target idle should now be set. The idle calibration procedures are explained in detail in the idle speed section of this video. Step eight, it is now time to set your acceleration enrichment tables. The procedures for this are explained in detail in the acceleration enrichment tables section of this video. Step nine, let's put the car in closed loop to improve drivability and economy. Just go back and take a look at each of your base tables, base VE, base spark, and target air fuel ratio to see if there's any minor adjustments you can do. Step 10. Now that we've gotten as good as we can on our base tables, let's finish by working on the after start and cranking fuel tables. These procedures are explained in detail in the after start and cranking fuel tables section of this video. You'll need to let the engine cool down before going to this step. 